Hey lovely ladies, it's your girl Jen Barlow here and we are well underway in the middle of summer and that can mean only one thing. It's wedding season. Oh yes, from May, June through October, November, everybody you know, your sister, your cousin, your brother, your uncle, everybody's getting married. Ah! So what's a girl to wear? That's the question we are answering today. We have a few looks, they're pretty cute, and they cover every occasion. But before we get dressed, there's a few other things that you should consider and rules that you should keep in mind before dressing cray cray at the wedding. So, number one, read the invitation. You don't wanna show up in, you know, some summer, very casual dress and it's a formal affair. So make sure you've read the invitation, you know that it's either a, a formal affair or maybe it's a destination wedding and you should dress appropriately because you're gonna be walking on sand or just make sure you kind of know where you're heading when you head to this wedding. Second thing is accessorize appropriately. That means pick a few things that will really accentuate your outfit, but don't cause too much of attention. And cleavage, lots and lots and lots of cleavage is not an accessory. You don't wanna be showing too much or showing too much. So keep it simple and accessorize, but accessorize appropriately. And lastly, pick a color that makes you feel confident, that you stand out in, because the, the other thing is, you don't wanna to get to the wedding and then find out all the bridesmaids are wearing navy and you showed up in a navy dress and look like the lost bridesmaid. You don't wanna do that. So those are just a few of my rules, but I think we should just go ahead and get dressed. What do you say? Let's do it. Voila, our first look. This is what I'm calling the August wedding dress. You know, it's not too bright as you would wear in June or July. It's sort of fading into those classic fall colors. It's definitely floral, which is very hot no matter which way you slice it for the summer. And it's, it's a little bit of sweet and it's a little bit of sexy because it's that A-line that's perfect for weddings. It's the right length that goes almost to the knee. The bottom portion has a nice chiffon pleated material so it moves, it gives way, you can dance in it all night. The top is a little sexier because it's got that sweetheart neckline that's made out of our famous bodycon material. So it'll give you that perfect amount of cleavage without being, you know, too crazy at the wedding up top. Use the rule of one when you're attending a wedding. If you're showing a little bit more cleavage up top, definitely go with a longer hemline make it to the knee or vice versa vice versa if you opt for a longer hemline then make sure you go with a you know a neckline that's more appropriate or goes further up so how i accessorize this a-line dress is because of the navy detail of the dress i opted for my navy handbag this little clutch it's fun it's definitely fresh for summer and it's perfect it holds just the right amount of stuff inside and this is what I also call sort of the semi-formal look for a wedding. When you're in August, most weddings are gonna either be outside or a portion of it's outside, maybe the reception portion is outside, or maybe it's indoors, but because of the heat and because of the humidity, it's not too dressy, not too stuffy. So this is also kind of that perfect in-between. It's formal enough, you could wear it to a church if you had a little sweater to put on top, but um, you could also take that off and really show off your fashion style and make a statement at the wedding. Now the other way I accessorized it, because we're not in a tropical destination, so I went classic gold, because you can't really go wrong with gold or silver at a wedding. So I picked a simple gold necklace that really accents the neckline, and gold simple strappy stilettos. The perfect way to really, you know, cement your outfit, pull it all together. And these fun little babies here, look at the cool design. This is really new. It's a drop down design. It's kind of fun, it moves when you dance, and it's a really cute look to top off your outfit. So this is the August wedding look. Voila, look 
number two. I'm calling this the destination wedding, the Caribbean getaway, somewhere hot. Um, this is a maxi dress as you can see and I'm obsessed with maxis for weddings because it's always kind of classy. You can dress it up, you're covering all of your legs. And what I love about this particular maxi is that it's made out of a light sort of jersey lycra material and a chiffon material at the top. So what does that mean? It's light, it's airy, you can move around. If you go somewhere humid, you can still breathe in it. You won't be sweating. Well, you might be sweating, but you'll be sweating less. And it looks pulled together. It's full length. What I also did was I paired this color blocked maxi with some nice nude tan wedges. Because here's the thing, if you're going to a destination wedding, there's a pretty good chance that you might be maneuvering on sand at some point. Maybe it's a beach wedding or maybe it's an outside reception and you're gonna be in the grass. And there's nothing worse than going to a wedding and being in heels on grass because you're aerating the lawn, you're you know, poking holes in the grass and it is just not fun. And your feet kill you by the end of the night. So I say opt for the wedge instead because I think it will give you balance. You can dance well into the night and have a lot of fun. Now you notice that the bottom part is navy, which is really nice for the figure because any darker color is gonna add that slimming effect to your body. And the top, it's vibrant, it's vivacious, it's canary yellow, definitely makes a statement without being too much of a statement and taking that attention away from the bride. Now you can also pair it with your favorite clutch. You can go gold to match your bangle accessories or if you're like me and like a little pop of color, I decided to stick with a canary colored clutch as well to finish out my outfit. And last but certainly not least, voila, our formal affair look. This is something for the traditional wedding in every sense of the word. If you want something that's formal, but maybe not full length, this is a really good option. It's on our website. It's, it's a nice stretch lycra material. It breathes a little bit. You can move around in it. It has nice ruching, so it kind of looks like a design, but then hides if you have any imperfections or areas that you want to sort of cover up. This is a really good dress for that. The hemline is perfect. It goes right above the knee. And the neckline, in my opinion, is perfect as well because it has that cap sleeve. A little bit off the shoulder, but not in the traditional sense. More like the cap sleeve. So it gives a really nice shape to your neckline, shows off your collarbone, and then accents it with a really nice rose detail. I love the red. I'm a sucker for red in general, but I think that when you go to any formal affair, Obviously black is classic, but I also think red is the classic choice. It looks good at really any occasion. It can look good in summer, or you can take this into the fall and even into the winter season. It's not a traditional red, it's more of a Cabernet or Merlot color. So it's really nice to wear to really any formal event. So as far as accessory goes, um, I wanted to start at the earrings. I just want to mention that you can actually see the earrings at a formal wedding, usually I think it looks nice to do an updo, opt for an updo. So for me, I pulled the hair off my shoulders and that way you can see the nice sleeves detail, but you can also see the drop down rounded rose gold earrings that I love. And then I also paired it with a nice cuff, but this isn't a traditional cuff and you know, in the sense that you would think, it does sort of slide right on but it's a nice wire copper material design and it looks really chic and classy, I think. And then rounding off your outfit, I opted for the wedges because I think wedges are perfect for a wedding because sometimes stilettos can get a little bit uncomfortable and the wedge it adds a little bit of support under your toes but still gives you that height with the traditional heel. And the good thing about these cutout wedges is that they have, or these cutout heels rather, is they have the strap that goes around your ankle. So if you're dancing and your foot slips a little bit, or maybe you're getting wild on the dance floor, it protects your ankle and you're not likely to roll an ankle. So you look classy, 
but it's also protective for your ankle and foot as well as you're dancing well into the night. Um, but this is my last formal outfit and I hope you like it. As for our last look, ha, just kidding. As for our last what not to do, do not wear white to a wedding. If you're not the bride, you do not belong in white. And that includes cream, off-white, pearl, or any other variation of white. No white, it's a no-go. You will go from being on the guest list to being on your friend's shit list. Uh, or, well, defriended. Or block list. We'll say block list. Yeah. So, I hope you'd enjoyed the summer wedding outfits. As it goes, if you have a video request for us, if you want to see an idea fashion trend broken down, hit us up. I'm your girl, Jen Barlow. Until next time.